In this lesson, we're going to introduce weld mints. Weld mints allow us to do three things that we cannot do in a basic assembly. Apply weld preps, actual welds, and machining operations, or also known as post weldment operations. The file that we're going to start off with for our example here is called basicassembly.iam and all I have are three separate components placed in here and they are assembled with assembly constraints. But what I want to do next is actually make this into a weld mint. The way to change a standard assembly into a weld mint is to go from the convert pull down and select weld mint. A dialog box pops up stating that once we convert this assembly to a weld mint it cannot be converted back. So I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. Now in the convert to weld mint I have a couple different options here. I'm going to select ANSI and for the weld bead material I'm going to go ahead and select steel mild. And if I had assembly features I would have the option to convert them either to weld preps or into machining features. So now I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. As you see I have three new entries in the browser. I have a preparations, welds, and machining. Each of these are different environments so when I go back and double click on preparations you'll see that the environment changes for the panel bar and everything else is grayed out. The same with the weldments. I'll double click on that. And this is where we'll go back and we'll place in our welds that we'll learn about in another lesson. And same with machining. So I'm just going to return to the top level assembly. A couple different ways of doing that. I can just double click on the top level here or click the return tool. Either way will get us back to the top level assembly. Another option is to start up a brand new assembly like we'll do here by clicking on the new icon. What we can do now is I can go back and select on the weldment.iam file. You can select the weldment assembly that you want to start off with from the tab that you desire. So in this case if I wanted to I could go down and select on the metric tab and as I scroll on down here you will see that I have a weldment ANSI millimeter.iam. I also have an option for the BSI or the GB or the ISO or the Weldment JIS. So in this case if I go ahead and click OK you'll see that this assembly is a Weldment assembly. I know that by looking at the icon at the top level here and I also know that by looking at my three new options the preparation welds and the machining. If by chance I want to go back and change the weld material that has been placed I can do that by right clicking on the welds entry and selecting on the properties entry then from the physical tab under the material entry from the drop down list in this case I can just change that to welded steel mild and now all the welds that I place will be based on that material. 